Now to the Olympics, kicking off with the opening ceremony tomorrow in Rio. As concerns grow over the water quality there and whether it could put athletes' health at risk, ABC's Matt Gubman brings us the latest from Rio. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Georgia. One of the biggest health concerns is the water of that gorgeous bay you see behind me. We had it tested, and scientists say they found levels of a virus 200 times higher than what we would consider contaminated in the U.S., and those scientists say that those viruses leach even into the sand here. This morning, new questions about the safety of the water some 1,400 athletes will compete in as they vie for Olympic gold. Brazil had promised a massive cleanup of the Guanabara Bay where the sailing competitions will take place. But with the opening ceremony one day away, these images, fetid debris floating just outside the Olympic venues, bottles, toy dolls, a layer of scum, and last week, a corpse spotted in the bay. The WHO advising athletes who go into the water not to swallow it, to cover open wounds and wash immediately after they get out. ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor Dr. Richard Besser saw that sewage firsthand from above. It's pure going right into the river. Yes. And from the water, taking two samples one from the shore of the Guanabara Bay and another at the Copacabana Beach where marathon swimming will take place and bringing them both to a lab just outside Rio for testing. Our testing snapshot of Rio's water found virus and fecal bacteria levels in that first sample far above what would get a beach closed in many states in the U.S. My kids, I wouldn't let them go uh, entered these waters. While the Copacabana sample showed high levels of viruses that indicated sewage pollution. A commercial environmental testing laboratory in New York had this to say. The diseases that could affect people that are exposed to these types of pathogens could be an acute respiratory disease, things like typhoid, hepatitis, gastroenteritis, dysentery, and even ear infections. And that's not the only problem that organizers have encountered here. There are still over a million tickets unsold, so many that organizers have actually given away 240,000 of them to underprivileged children here. Guys. All right, now I want to show you. This is the suit right here. That's, it's antimicrobial. It's also seamless. The U.S. rowing team will wear these for protection. We have one of our interns wearing it. Where's Showbiz? No. Showbiz <laughs> is wearing it right there. Matt, the arms are uncovered. The legs are uncovered. Are these going to help? There's a lot of skepticism about those suits. Now, they look great, but the biggest concern, of course, is that people will ingest that dirty water and no suit can fully protect against that. Lara? All right. Yeah, you, you think there might be something. Is it, is, is it comfortable? <laughs> yeah, Shelbis, can you move? Do you have a lot of freedom? It's, it's tight. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's the, the point. idea. That's the point. <laughs> Thank you.